Hello everyone, Farm John here from Ski Farms, and it's February 2nd. Uh, we got a wind chill advisory tonight. Uh, as you might be able to hear in the video, the winds are already hollowing. It's supposed to get down to negative 8 regular temperature, and uh, well, the wind chills are supposed to get pretty cold tonight. So we just want to show you uh, what we do to prepare on the farm, what we do for the animals on these cold nights like this. So we're going to start with the beef first. So first, I got uh, 12 little small squares. What we're going to do, if you look up on the field, then you all sometimes see we got the cattle up there uh, and the round bales. What we're going to do is we're going to move them down by the windbreak down here where we got this feeder right here. We start out by carrying our small squares down to the perimeter fence and throwing them over where we then go inside the fence, carry them down to in front of the feeder. And here we're going to place them on the ground. We'll take the strings off and spread out the bales for the cattle. As you can tell, the cattle see me carrying the bales and they're giddy up, ready to go, already on their way up here. So we got most of the bales set up. I was surprised the beef were started running over the hill. I tried to get a quick video of it. I should know like last time, because during Christmas we put them in here, if you remember, we had those nasty winds and cold. Well, they're here, they're, they're just on the other side of the fence. They should know to cross down here. Let me make sure I got the gate open. Got the gate open. Ghost went through. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. See, they're coming. See, as they come down the hill, I got this gate I can shut off. Right here. See, they're coming. Cross right here. See? They're gonna know I turn this corner. Maybe or maybe not. Come on. <laughs> Ghost of our laps. <laughs> this is where they take every chance given to stop at every tree, scratch it, eat it, destroy it. No, just That's why we don't give them access to this uh, all the time, as you can see. I call it the cattle of the trees, you know. No, it's all funny. Okay, so mission accomplished. Beefers are in their winter break area. As you might hear right now, it's still wind up here on the top of the hill, but we'll go down here. You know, here there's practically no wind down here. Big trail, tall trees do a great job. And plus we're down in this valley. So it's practically wind free. Get right down in here. And it's nice and calm. Look at it. It's like a beach in Florida. Put this poster down right here. Uh, lay her down. Take a nap. Right, guys? All good? All good. You might wonder what the dogs are doing the entire time. Well, it turns out they just play tag and chase each other around, which is pretty convenient, so they wear each other out. Or they're making snow dog angels. It works so nice now that uh, I got the beefers up by the barn up there in the winter break, so now I can uh, switch the round bale feeders. As you can see, they're empty. Uh, so I'll be able to move the wire and put the round bale feeders over the new bales without the beef for trying to get across into all the other bales. So it actually works out good. We start by taking down the poly wire that's keeping the cattle out of the remaining bales. And then we're going to remove the post out of the bales and the ground, set them up on the bales. And then the last step is to move the feeders onto the new bales. So I tip them up, roll them like a big ferris wheel over, and then tip them on over. As you can see, we pretty much got one done here, and one more to go. So walk over to the next one. We tip it up. Roll it over. And then tip it down. 
after we check up on the round bales we go make sure the winter water system's working well as you can see the cattle are already making their way up and slurping down the fresh clean water after they finish drinking water and quench their thirst it's giddy up back to the winter break they go if you notice the cattle sure do like to travel in pairs it's kind of funny to see which ones they usually hang out with together sun is setting as you can tell the final groups are making their way up to the winter water and i personally believe it's good that they get that little bit of exercise it keeps that blood pumping in their muscles and helps heat their body core temp see a quick check up on the beefers before dark they ate up at least 50 percent of the hay i put down so they should be good to go for the rest of the night they're nice and full they're making their trips up to the winter water up there as you can tell so my prediction is that uh, they should all make it back tonight. Sleep in this little bedding where there's like no wind and be good to go through the cold temps tonight. Okay, it's time to do the sheeps, as you can tell. Sheeps want to be fed too. Scout, <laughs> you're just so deep. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? For each morning for the sheep, we carry down a fresh five gallons of water and then a small square bale for the sheep. I'm bringing the pitchfork today to help clean out the feeder to provide them with a little extra bedding. The sheep are always jumping around with joy whenever they see a new small square bale of hay and the other ones just follow behind single file. It's pretty funny. Jerry's still doing great. As you can see, he's a ram with the white face right there. To prepare the sheep for the cold night, we're going to take the old hay from the feeder. That's mostly the stuff that they don't need anymore. We're going to provide that as bedding for them. So we take a few scoops here and there, put it underneath the tree they like to sleep, and then we open up a fresh new bale for them to eat. As you can tell, they sure do love this hay that we baled as fourth crop. Small squares, they just take mouthfuls and just chomp it right down. Got back from our morning run. Let's see how the cattle are doing. Looking pretty good. Negative temperatures out, but I think they're nice and cozy.